Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to talk about the reasons why I'm skeptical of coding boot camps in 2021. <laughs> Welcome back guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Darian, we talk about everything from tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, productivity, all that good stuff here on this channel, so if you're into that, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, it helps me stay motivated to just keep putting these videos out for you guys, alright? So let's go ahead and jump into the reasons why I'm kind of skeptical of coding boot camps in 2021 as a boot camp graduate too so if you're brand new to the channel i went to coding boot camp in 2018 i took a job at boot camp i now work as a csharp.net developer but i'm going to talk about the reasons why again i'm just skeptical of where boot camps are headed especially here in 2021 the first reason that i'm skeptical of coding boot camps guys is because they used to be way more selective okay and the reason why i say that is because in 2017 it was it was actually the first time i had applied to go to a coding boot camp but in 2017 I actually applied and was denied a chance or rejected my shot of going to coding bootcamp. That hurt so much. That was worse than like failing a test or failing a class. Like that hurt. I, I felt like it was a shot at me personally or like intellectually. I didn't feel like the bootcamp thought that I was capable of making it through their curriculum, which really, really motivated me to like want to learn more and to want to come back, which I did in the next year, 2018, and try again because I just couldn't take the idea that I wasn't good enough in their eyes to go to their coding bootcamp. And the reason I think they used to be so much more selective guys is because back then, at least my bootcamp back then, was still building its name. It, they didn't have all these people who already had graduated and were in the job market and went through interviews and got hired and started working all around the metro detroit area where i live that that they hadn't built themselves up to that yet they were still trying to find their sauce within their curriculum and figure out what employers really wanted or what they really valued in the graduates that came out of the boot camp and so for that reason i think they used to be way more selective about who they were bringing into the boot camp because they wanted to make sure that when they are promoting these graduate numbers and job placement numbers and average salary numbers they wanted to make sure that they knew exactly what type of candidates to look for, who was a good fit to you know, be a part of this curriculum or this cohort, can they work well with other people, are they gonna understand, are they gonna ask questions, are they gonna give up and quit? I think they were just really, really vetting people a lot more back in those days. Now, fast forward again, three or four years, and things have changed a lot, and I feel like everyone who applies to bootcamp kind of gets in now and I, I maybe that could be you know wrong i'm not trying to make a ton of assumptions but to me it just seems like even if one boot camp rejects you now there are so many other boot camps that you can take and they're not all going to turn you down <laughs> so even if you go to a certain boot camp that's like local in your community or whatever and they if they do for some reason reject you or turn you down there's going to be 10 other boot camps waiting for you to take their pre-work or interview with them and they're going to say hey yeah you got this like and they're 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 all there to pretty much grab up anybody looking to pay them to break into a new career and while i totally believe in the idea of boot camps it changed my life i talk about that all the time on this channel at the same time i do feel like it was good for them to be selective because not everybody is going to become a developer even if they go through a coding boot camp not everyone is going to be passionate about coding some people are going to find that they work better in a different job role a qa role or a business analyst role a consultant role other people are going to figure out that even if they go to coding bootcamp and they pay to learn all this about code that it isn't what they're good at or what they enjoy doing and so for that reason i'm not sure that a bootcamp necessarily makes sense for everybody who wants to break into tech and there's a lot of other ways to get into tech too and i think it's just wrong that we make it seem like these boot camps are now the new standard of how you get into tech. That one ties really well into the next point, which is saturation, guys. Uh, with all these different boot camps popping up now, on top of them being a lot less selective, you have so many more people going to these boot camps because they don't all cost $20,000, $15,000. You can go to like a general assembly now for like 1500 bucks. And I don't know what they teach you at general assembly for 1500 bucks, but you can go there, you know what I mean? Telling an employer that you're a bootcamp graduate today might actually work against you more than it will help you. That's where I just think that this has 
started to come from the oversaturation of all these boot camps popping up and not being selective about who they're letting into the boot camp. You have all these people who are coming into software development or to these boot camps and they don't really care about learning these things. They really just want the increase in salary or they just want to change their job. And they don't really care about the tech itself. The tech is just more of an end goal to the money. And when you go do these job interviews, you're likely going to be interviewed by someone who's been like coding for most of their professional career or maybe even their life. So to them, coding is like a lifestyle. It's a way of being it's a way of thinking and creating and doing things it's not just something to do to get a job to them and so when they're interviewing you they're going to be evaluating you as someone that they're going to have to work with someone who they're going to have to potentially mentor or like review your pull requests and your code it's a hit or miss are you going to still get boot camp grads who go on to become senior developers yeah of course that's like with anything right like it's a law of numbers but what I'm saying is the overwhelming amount of people coming out of boot camps are not going to be that person. So it's going to become more difficult for you to even get that entry level job, that junior level job because of the oversaturation of people who don't care at all about coding. And they only went to coding boot camp to try to get a job or to, you know, get more money, which I'm not saying is wrong at all. But I'm saying that those people make it more difficult for those people who really are passionate and just want to get a job and learn and grow because at the end of the day if you don't have that job experience or if you don't have the actual coding knowledge and experience from doing it on your own it's going to be really hard to stand out as just someone who has a boot camp on their resume the third reason why i'm skeptical of coding boot camps is something i've also talked about before on the channel which is basically just that virtual learning is not as effective as in-person learning again i did not go to boot camp virtually so i can't speak for everybody but i just know that for me the type of person that i am chemistry camaraderie and being able to build rapport with my teachers tas and all those things that is really important to me and helping me learn and we went to lunch together, we took breaks together, we went for walks together, you know, things like that. So it just, over the course of eight to 10 weeks, you really became like a family with these people. Um, I know that is a little generic to say, but seriously, everybody has doubts about, you know, going to coding boot camp and are they gonna get a job afterwards? Are they learning? Do they get this? Did they make a mistake? Everybody's going through those same combination of emotions. So I think to be in a classroom physically with those people where I can see them like getting stressed out, sometimes you just need to go on a walk and talk to somebody, let them know, hey, I didn't get that either. Those little like human connections and human interactions are really, really important, I think, in just helping build the chemistry that you need to make good networking connections, to just learn, share experiences, feel comfortable uh, talking to people, sharing your vulnerabilities. like. A lot of those things I just feel cannot be the same if you're in a virtual or hybrid learning environment, especially if you're all competing for your instructor's time to help you one on one. Because my instructor did a really good job of like walking around the room and answering questions one at a time and checking on people spending 10 minutes with this person, 10 minutes with that group or whatever it was. And in a virtual and hybrid learning environment, I don't know, I could be wrong. I just don't feel like it justifies paying the same cost virtually or hybrid to attend a coding bootcamp instead of doing it in person. Next thing that makes me skeptical guys is the fact that it's expensive. I know that there is a lot of value in coding bootcamps, especially if you do your research and you make sure that what you're learning is gonna be valuable in the job market you're trying to go out for and you're making sure that they're teaching all the relevant things that you're really gonna need in your first job. But at the same time, guys, looking back on it in hindsight, sometimes I feel like it is cheaper to just learn how to code on your own and just to go through the pain of doing it on your own because you only learn things one way in bootcamp. You don't even have enough time to learn things multiple different ways in coding bootcamp. So yes, you get exposed to things and you get taught them per se, but you don't always get enough repetitions with those concepts to really, really know them. You get exposed to them, but you might not really know them at the end of bootcamp, if that makes sense. So spending less money but more time learning on your own i still think you can get the same results that you can get with a coding bootcamp if you're just passionate and patient enough to actually do that 
And the last thing, guys, is job market changes, which we've kind of been talking about throughout this entire video so far. But like I said, I just think that I already see it happening. An entry level job or a junior level coding job is becoming increasingly harder and harder and harder to get. The requirements, the number of tools, the number of projects and things you're expected to know are completely increasing, increasing, increasing for developers. And it's not going to go backwards and it's not going to get any easier. So the easiest days of getting into software development are already behind us. So we should just stop talking about that in 2021 about just going to boot camp and getting a job because honestly, it's not that simple anymore. It really isn't. I'll say this too. If you get a job, after boot camp, you get your first job. It doesn't mean that you're going to be able to keep it or get another job if you lose it. Seriously, even if you go to boot camp and you learn the skills you need to get a job, guys, it doesn't mean that the skills at that job are going to transfer to another job. And it doesn't mean that you personally are going to even be good enough to keep that job once you get it. You might be there a few months or whatever and you start underperforming and things pick up way more than you're ready for and they let you go. That has happened. I know people that's happened to. I've heard a lot of stories of things like that happening. That's a very, very common thing, guys. So it's not like a one and done. Go to boot camp, get a job, and now you're good. Now you're in tech and you're good forever. It's a constant evolving and learning changing process, guys. And once you get that developer job and get a year or two under your belt, you are no longer going to get a junior developer job or entry level developer job. Like, no, you're looking at mid level and beyond, and that is going to require an entirely different set of knowledge, experience, and everything with it that you're not gonna go back to bootcamp and learn how to become a mid-level developer. <laughs> Just keep these things in mind, guys, uh, as you're like vetting out boot camps or considering going to coding boot camps. These are just my concerns as somebody who went to coding bootcamp a few years ago and looking at the changes that have happened now and i've been working for the last two years as a software developer professionally i've had two different jobs now so i've been able to kind of see and hear a lot of different experiences and see different jobs and different requirements at the jobs so i just wanted to share that just give my my two cents on that for you guys let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this are you guys you know still feeling good about coding boot camp are you guys in it right now how's it going are you skeptical if you are let me know down in the comment section what makes you guys skeptical of coding boot camps in 2021 as well if you want more of me outside of like just talking about tech stuff you want to hear about like life business productivity self-cultivation all that good stuff check out my weekly newsletter i drop one every sunday straight to your inbox completely for free so check out my subtitle link down below also check out the description box for my free intro to coding boot camp course guys where i teach everything i wish i knew before i went to coding boot camp really help you guys out and all the costs is your email address so yeah check that out down below as well hope this helps you guys my name is darian this is darian the devil see you guys next video all right peace